there, Charlie. That's a good one. <laughs> good oh, fish. man, look at that fish go. Look at him go. Look at that. Look at that. That's a big old fish. Golly, what a way to start the day. <laughs> oh, looky there. Oh, mercy. Doing a little worm fishing today. <laughs> with a friend of mine from Tyler, Texas, Charlie Polk. And Charlie, I'll tell you what I'll do. How about a dollar on the big fish of the day? You already got it. <laughs> wow. Old Tom Man's auger tail worm, my favorite color, motor oil. Big old four out true turn, got him right in the top of the head, didn't it? Look at the size of that fish, got will it. you? You got him? Whoa, you had him. <laughs> Look at that dude, will you? Come on, baby. Back in there and look at him just lay there. Bye-bye, birdie. Rigging that worm Texas style, which is a pretty good way to rig it because we're going to be fishing around a lot of woods today. We're out here fishing in the springtime, water temperature about 65 degrees. That old worm rigged weedless. But we're going to be throwing up in some woods and logs and bushes and bass. <laughs> I tell you what, no dollar on the big fish. Huh? <laughs> you already got him. <laughs> oh, there he is, Charlie. Golly, he feels big too. Oh, he is. God, that's another nice one. Look at that. Holy cow. I think we got us a honey hole. Charlie and I are fishing off of a point. Golly, what a fish. It drops off out here in about 10 or 12 foot of water. And we got us some fish found on that point now, I guarantee you that. Oh man, look at that. Look down his mouth. What do you think they're eating? Looky there. See that big old pincher? Look at that, Charlie. Big old pincher too. Looky there, I just barely had him hooked. Well, he's just barely, that's hooked pretty good. God, it's another five pound fish. Holy cow. I'm gonna try to get one more Bet Tom Man ain't ever caught him like this on the Tom Man auger tail worm. Try to get one more out of there. Little shad scented pro formula. Woo, I'm gonna get one more five pounder out of that worm. I guess if a guy catch a five pounder, three five pounders out of one auger tail worm, it'd be worthwhile, wouldn't it? That's absolutely correct. If I could catch one five pounder out of every package, I'd be happy. Man, this boom, boom. Boy, that fish really was just barely hooked, Charlie. But he was hooked, you know, it was good, but it, would, it wasn't really, there he is, there he is. Golly, look at that. God, that one feels good too. Oh, it is, it's another big one. Look at that. Listen to that line, listen to that line saying. I just got 12 pound test line on here. Look at him, he ain't quite as big as the other ones. I don't know though, he ain't far off. Oh, boy, what a pretty fish. Yeah, look at the belly on that fish. Isn't that pretty? Man, pretty color on him. Golly. Holy moly. Well, hate to do this, I'm gonna put on a new worm. Three five pounders on one auger tail is enough. When you're rigging that worm, one of the main things is don't stick that point of the hook too far down in the worm, because that thing will twist on you when you do that. Golly. Holy cow. You know what, I ain't made five throws. And had three fish. And you oh, had that one that you missed. That's not a bad day's work. Are oh, you saying I need to quit? <laughs> so all right, that's enough. <laughs> that's a bad day. It's a good day right there. Just hang it up. It falls right off. This water is it's about two or three foot up there and it drops right off to 10 foot. And that's where them fish are, right on the edge of that drop. There he is, there he is. All right, Charlie. See, all you needed, all you needed is that auger to that motor oil. You got that motor oil and he jumped all over it. That color makes a difference. Hey, that's what mine's been feeding on up there. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tell you, when you come fishing with me, you if you get behind, you're in trouble. <laughs> well, it's double up catch up time. Double up catch up, that's right. 
Yeah, I'll bet you those I've been catching up on that point been up there. I, you know, that fish right there, he break it out there. Them I've been catching, I eat him. <coughs> Boy, did you see that big old pincher though? That crawdad must have weighed a pound if that thing would eat. Ah, Lance. I don't know if motor oil's the right color or not. But I think it is. <laughs> Golly. Holy cow. Boy, this is a big one too. Yeah. He's stout too. Look at that. Golly, look at that. Isn't that something? Holy mackerel. God, look at him go. Boy, every one of them up four and five pound fish. Gee whiz. Looky there, an old true turn got him down in the bottom of the lip. That's unusual. Most of them get him up on top. He got him down the bottom. Now this and look down in his throat. He's got a, sh uh, a shad tail down in there. You know, I'm gonna catch one here in a minute. I'll catch one here in a minute that'll have an auger tail worm sticking out of his throat. You got him? You miss him? He hit it, didn't he? Yep. Golly, holy mackerel. Ah! I can't stand it, Charlie. <laughs> I just absolutely can't stand it. Oh, oh boy. Ain't that wild? Why can't I ever do this in a tournament? I do this in a tournament once in my lifetime, maybe. You know, and that's already happening. Golly. Barely move that worm along. Don't make them big, long, sweeping moves. It's just barely get your rod up. Just barely hop it and let it fall. Especially when it starts off at dropping down into that 10 foot of water. Golly. Holy smoke. Yeah, look at that sucker. They think they're tarping. Look at them go. Holy mackerel. Look at that, will you? Look at that fish go. Yeah, I need to retie my line. Only got 12 pound green trilene on here. Come here, baby. Don't you spit that hook out. Don't you dare. Holy mackerel. That's the two of them that's been hooked just exactly like that, right in that little spot right there. It just looks like they're barely hooked, but it's tough right there. God, that's the smallest one I caught right there, Charlie. That's about four pounds. Gee whiz. Woo. That is simply amazing. And I missed one up there. Oh, golly, golly. Holy cow. Look at that thing go, will you? <laughs> Look at him go. Golly. Whoa, what a mean fish. Oh, man. Oh, I got him. All right. Well, Charlie, that is what you call springtime worm fishing right there. That's what it's all about. There ain't no telling how many of them big fish we've caught today. But we have had us a day. If we'd have put all them on a stringer or in a skillet, I'm gonna guarantee you one thing. If it hadn't been in a skillet, you'd have had to slap your mama away from the table. Motor oil, man's auger tail worm, little shad pro formula on it. What a day.